Over the past two months, 10 people were admitted into the emergency room at Baptist Beaumont Ten. Hospital. Yeah, with heat-related illnesses, and we could see more of that. Early in the season, our Jackie Massey has a few tips for keeping your cool. <laughs> the heat did not stop Delvin Seawright from going on his daily run at the Folsom Hike and Bike Trail. The sun was shining bright, but Delvin was ready. He's been running for over 35 years. I know my limits and I, I know how to hydrate before I leave. Now I have Drinking water before you step outside is pretty much common sense, but a nurse practitioner from Baptist Beaumont Hospital says you should take it one step further. A day or two before, start increasing your fluid intake um, and limit your caffeine. Some learn this the hard way, like Ty Blankenship. Uh, I, I used to run cross country and just got done running about seven miles one day and got to a stopping point and just fell to the ground. <laughs> he experienced heat stroke. Some of the symptoms are dizziness, feeling cold or vomiting. And if the symptoms get worse with cramps or a seizure, you're probably experiencing heat exhaustion. That's when it's time to call an ambulance. Luckily, no one I saw running at the Folsom Hike and Bike experienced that today, even if they did feel a little bit hot. I'd rather be out running in the elements than I would be um, inside running on a treadmill. In Beaumont, Jackie Massey, 12 News. The other thing, don't ever leave children or pets inside a hot car for any length of time.